So we're back to Ritu Porno and his lovely ladies. And who's one of your favorite male actors? Because they love you as much as your lovely ladies do. I've seen it. There's also trusting Prushinjit, I think. Prushinjit. But he's a very fine actor. Do you, I don't suppose you have to work very hard with him. No, I don't. He's a very because fine Bumba actor. Because Bumba is a Prushinjit. He, I think he is... Both Prashanjit and Jishu, the male actors I'm very fond of, and Amitav as well. Amitav is a bad habit. He's once a bad habit. You want to yes, repeat once him. Once you've worked with him, you want to repeat him very badly. He is a bad habit. Uh, but coming to, I think there are a lot of people to talk about him. And uh, but to talk about Prashanjit or Jishu, both of them, I think they are better director material than actors. Really? So perhaps uh, uh, I gel with them better. He had directed already, and he's a. Uh, he, I see a very fine director in him. Would you ever act under him? Possibly, yes. Why not? Yes, I mean, I, I mean, I consider him one of my favorite directors. So I mean, and and he's somebody who knows my limitations as an actor, who knows that I can never take a mark properly, even when you I'm have showing. You acted with him then. No, I haven't. But when I rehearse with him, uh -huh. suppose I am playing Raima and. Uh, oh, so, but you get immersed in what you have to do, so I you're not I, thinking I, of the I technicalities. Have, no, I don't even have the foggiest about the technical boundaries. I don't take really? the light. Really? I don't take the thought, line after properly. After all this advertising work. No, but when I'm showing the actor what to do, I think I need to convey the essence. Not right, the technicality. Right, right. That you it, depend it's on them to know the technicality. I don't have to give it the proper part of look. His work. Yes, that's right. And uh, when Boomba is there, because he, I mean, when I'm showing my ladies, and Boomba is playing the hero because he has played the uh, male lead in most of my films, he knows my problems, and he would eventually go into and don't look there because he doesn't know the look. <laughs> so that's why he did it. <laughs> Dolly, don't stumble. He stumbled because he was wearing wrong shoes. You don't have to imitate you don't have that. To imitate that. <laughs> yes. So uh, this is, but I think, uh, I think the whole myth about when you are acting when you're a part of a non-mainstream film you need to be very erudite and well read and well educated that's a myth which has been perpetrated over a long time yeah. i think you need to be just sensitive and intelligent it is it has nothing to do with your education this is a small instance but i walked into this shop uh, a very favorite kashmiri shop run by this kashmiri man and he was sitting in a corner and i said you're not working anymore he said, no, my son gave up college. He said, I don't want to study. I want to get into the family business. And he's running it so well. So actually, you wonder what is the value of formal education Absolutely. in a profession like yes. ours, or in most professions. You just have to be alert, intelligent, and pick up and be able to I, deliver. If you have the requisite amount of sensitivity and empathy, mm -hmm. so which he has, I think he is. He's also not had the time. For formal education, Bumba. he did it, and he had. He, had he has been immersed in this. Uh, me, um, I mean, in the entire business of filmmaking, that to mainstream, and it. He hasn't been in mainstream cinema at a time when there were educated directors, even in mainstream. Mm. So he has also started at a time, and he got. I mean, somehow he has managed his career very well. But you know, Mundi, and when I was directing in one of the films, he plays a poet. The only direction I had to give him before, he just, and there was a shot of him writing poetry. I said, don't write it like a letter. It's a poem. You have to think about it. You think of the rhyming and how do you do it. So I give him the pad and the pen, and he was writing. After we take the shot, when my assistant goes back and collects the pad back and brings it back to me, I see he, he was writing. Actually, what he was writing, was, was a Bengali know? song. Oh. Was a Bengali song from oh. he? I mean, it is not education. It is this immediate sense of intelligence that I have to write something in rhyme, not in. Mm -hmm. I can't write a uh, yes, yes. I mean, a flowing prose. Also, oh, something wonderful about him because I've worked with him right in the beginning, and I haven't done anything really commercial with him. Is he can keep that commercial image, his commercial mannerisms, which are very important to him. And which has made him Aside, number complete, one today in the big yes. Bollywood film industry. So completely separate from when he has to be terribly sensitive and in he, uh, a different kind of absolutely. A film. I mean, and there are other actors like you can say Shabana or Smita, but then you are talking about them as actors, and they only work in very good films. They have not been hugely successful at the same time or for as long as Prashanjit has. So it's easier for them to. 
absolutely. work in intelligent Ab cinema. Absolutely. And Prashenjit, I think whatever growth Raima has achieved under my direction, the credit of that goes a lot to Prashenjit because the he has been... The first person to say so, nobody has given the poor man any credit. He has been the lead male actor. And even today when, after No Kudubi, I told him in the, after the Benares schedule that what Tolu has done in this schedule is largely because of you. So no, 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 that's your contribution. But he doesn't know that when he is as almost guiding, co-guiding as the yes. co-actor, yes, I know what Ritu wants and this is the way to achieve it. And so I can leave Raima completely at his disposal as, as a co-actor and and now be at rest that he will make her in the course of the shot he will eventually bring her to the position where I want her to be, take the light where exactly I want the light to fall. So that is, that's, that's a wonderful collaboration. Well, as mother, I'm very relieved you specified when you said my daughter is left at his disposal. <laughs> that she's left there as an actress. Yeah. But another actor, coming back to him, I know a lot has been said about him, everyone knows about him, but we're all terribly in awe of superstars. What would be one sentence, or two or three sentences, of your opinion about Amitabh, what strikes you most about him? Again, he's a man who has this huge following, has this sensitive streak in him, and even when he's doing commercial films, you know, the Dhum Dharka kind of films, he does come out as very, very real, the angry young man. There's nothing, I think he, he's not I got false him. mannerisms to fall back on. Yes. Everything is so from the heart. One thing is, if I have to, uh, Describe Amitda in one sentence. Amitda, that's how I call him. He is, he has made the word professionalism, which otherwise I see it as a very cold and clinical term, into a very warm and humane experience. Mm -hmm. I will give one example, Mundi. It's so fascinating. It's, it is an ultimate experience in humility. Suppose I am co directing Jishu and Amitda, they are performing together in a scene and I am after time I get exasperated I said you should just, just get up let me do show you why are you doing this why are you doing this you're a frustrated actor you're a frustrated actor <laughs> I said I mean that then now just please keep quiet let me do, let me do so when he's doing the rehearsal with me issues and issue is watching it he will perfectly he'll do take all the time he'll give me all the time Suppose he, uh, he has to offer me the glass and I'm not taking it, he'll give the time, look at me. And then do a complete perfect rehearsal. And then when Jishu comes back for his own rehearsal, he'll say, see you now I've got used to his timing, can we do it that way? Oh. It, uh, he feels very embarrassed when I am shouting at a co-actor and not shouting at him and making the co-actor perhaps a little inadequate next to him. So he feels very embarrassed on their behalf. So his defense is to shout back at, 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 at the director. You, I remember he, uh, he will not wait in his van. He, He's on the sets all the time. Uh, every time Debu would come into, Debu, my chief AD, his my associate director, would come into uh, Preeti's room where we are chatting and faffing. Say, what are you doing here? Amit has gone to the set. He would come to the studio, get ready, go to the set. The moment there is a change, he'll change, come back. He'll say, oh, Amdip, can you go back to your van because we are lighting? No, you are lighting for my scene, I'll sit there. Tell me my position. So this is a very, su and there was a sequence where she had to, he had to lie on a stretcher and he was taken. So I said, I'm, uh, yeah, what do I do now, Ritu? He said, lie on the stretcher. He lied on the stretcher and he had did mujri. There. I said, let me take off your mujri because it's immediately got up. I said, why? If I can touch your hand, why can't I take off your shoes? Right. You'll steal them. <laughs> so, I mean, he will never allow a dresser to touch his feet or tie his shoelace. He's very conservative about that. There's this very strong sense of conservative value, but with a complete openness for new talent. It's a large generosity, I would oh, say, no? I have found him very generous as an actor. That's, that's wonderful. That's a nice touch. And so, you've worked with him once? Once. And he's become a bad habit. You he's want to work with habit. him again. He's become a bad habit. Well, when we come back. I used to be a. Um, I always thought that he's the star and Jayadi is the actor in the family. 
Anjay, they say you do one film and after that you'll change your opinion completely. So one work I said, no, I have not changed my opinion completely. I mean, it's not that I just started dismissing you as an actor. You're my all time favorite, but Amitda has come, joined my favorite actor list now. <laughs> and it's quite high on it. Yeah. So we're going to come back to Ritu Bad Habits and learn much more about him. Thank you.